What's happening, everyone? Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, uh, the morning after the game before. Now, I was doing the breakdown. It's a new show, um, but I'm just hearing news now that Ten Hag's been sacked. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit longer with that, so that'll be out tomorrow. So I thought I'd get something out today. Um, West Ham, two, Manchester United, one. The job that's cost Ten Hag the sack. VAR could cost him the sack. Could there be sort of legal ramifications for that? Who knows? Who knows? It's one of them things where, look, I'm going to be honest, right? When I looked back at the penalty incident, I wouldn't have been happy if I was a, a, um, a Man United fan. Um, Ten Hag's going to be absolutely fuming. It's the thing that's cost him his job. But ultimately, without being disrespectful, they missed so many chances. I mean, I didn't realise how many chances it was. When you're at the game, sometimes you don't see everything that everyone else sees on the TV. But the chances they missed, which you know I think was a bit detriment to us, really, because... Um, yeah, listen, there's still questions over over Lopetegui. Does that paper over the cracks? Um, for me, the Forest and, and, and Everton games will, will tell the difference because without being disrespectful to Manchester United, I think they're going to offer a bit more resistance than Manchester United. But um, absolutely buzzing with the result, obviously. Did he get it right? I don't think so. I don't think he got the uh, the, the you know the, the, the starting line-up right. Um, I think we struggled. Listen, you've got to give him kudos. Um, is it kudos? Kudos. Um, no, let's say kudos. We've got to give him kudos uh, for, for changing the uh, 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 at half time. He does that a lot, the triple substitutions, and it come off. And, um, you know, Danny Ings was quite instrumental in, in the win, you know, setting up one and winning the penalty for the next. Um, surprised he didn't take the penalty, really. Um, I, I, I would imagine he's quite an accomplished penalty taker. But. It still wasn't good. It still wasn't good. It was full of mistakes. The back line. I mean, the, the ball over the top for Delo, who missed the um, who missed the sitter. Uh, you know, it just it's just detriment to what we're we're looking at there. You know, it's so easy at times to split us open. You see it against Chelsea. You see it at times against Villa. You know, there's so many times. See it against Tottenham last week. There's so many times when you sit there thinking like, and I've heard it so many times. You know. It could have been this and it could have been that. We could be four or down at half time. Palace was the same. But, you know, listen, you only play what's in front of you, I guess. But it wasn't great. It wasn't good. It wasn't uh, anything to be uh, inspired by. Um, interesting. Somerville running straight to Kudus and, uh, you know, obviously great friendship there. You see him after the game. I don't know if you've seen the West Ham um, after the game video where they come in and they're cuddling each other. So there's obviously a good friendship there. Could the, the answer be seeing them two on the same pitch? Listen, um, I'm expecting more games for Kudus, but at the moment it's still a free game ban. So he'll be back uh, in time for, I'm going to say, Arsenal. Um, so yeah, maybe we can see them. Some of it was brilliant yesterday. I thought Wan Bissaka was brilliant, but there's still question marks against the manager. I've got to say this: there's still question marks against the manager. Um, we said give him ten games. That was game week nine, um, but yeah, uh, it wasn't it wasn't great at all. To be quite honest with you, um, got the win. Controversial penalty. Listen, as I said before. They're going to be absolutely fuming about that penalty. I would be fuming. It's been absolutely condemned elsewhere. But I'm telling you now, right? I'm doing a breakdown now and I'll give you a little clue. They've had so many, we'll take that one. Let them cry into their cornflakes this morning because uh, after some of the ones I've been reviewing over the last few years, they fucking deserved it, to be quite honest with you. Ten Hag loses his job. Lopetegui clings onto his. That was El Sacchio. Um Listen, next week's going to be a tough, tough, tough test. Um, a very informed Forest side, a, fo a side that, that that contains James Will Prowse. Obviously, he won't be able to play. I don't know if he's still suspended after his sending off the other week, but um, yeah, sometimes I think we can we could do it with James Will Prowse. But there we go. That's the morning after the game. Before, do not forget to get the breakdown um, where I'll be breaking down all the, the, the you know the clips over the weekend and uh, having a look at them and, and reacting to them. But thank you very much. One thing left for me to say: come on, you irons.